In class, we learned how to download and install the When Doves Cry loops into GarageBand. You can download them by clicking here, or under the resources on the right, click on Loops, and then click on Download File. This downloads a zip file which contains all of the loops that you need to remix When Doves Cry. It will be downloaded either into your Downloads folder or onto your desktop. Now the file itself is a zip file which includes lots of loops all in one file. You may need to double click on it to open it up so that you can see the whole folder, or you might find, as I have here, that it will automatically be opened. Once it's downloaded, you need to locate it. It's gone here into the Downloads folder, so I'm going to drag it onto the desktop so I can find it easily later. The next thing to do is to open a new GarageBand project. First thing give the file an appropriate name and then down at the bottom change the key to A minor. You can also change the tempo if you want although you don't have to. I'm going to change it to 126 which was the original tempo the song was recorded at and click create. Once the GarageBand window comes up I'm just going to resize it a little bit and I'll get rid of that keyboard so that I can see that loops folder on my desktop. The other thing I have to do is click on this button that looks like an eye here and that opens up the loop browser. Once I can see that I can drag the loops straight into there and GarageBand will ask me if I want to import them. I just click the button that says move to loops folder. Once they've all imported I need to do a search so that I see just those loops and not all of the loops in GarageBand. Into the search field I type w -D -C, when doves cry and press return and now I can see the loops and click on them to preview them. If I find a loop that I like I can drag it straight into the workspace and it will play back there. Maybe I'll add a drum pattern to that, maybe with a bit of a techno feel. Now if GarageBand asks you whether you'd like to use a software instrument sound or a real instrument here, use real instrument to get the exact sound that you hear when you preview the loop. That's sounding pretty good. I think I'll find some other techno kind of sounds and drag those on to the next bit of the song. You can see that I can drag them there right into bar 5. I'm going to use a couple more loops here that will suit the same kind of style. And not all of the loops are the same length, so I can loop them out. If I click at the top right hand corner of the loop, you can see the mouse cursor changes to a curly shape. Drag it out to the right, and it loops that loop for you. Now I can play back and hear my whole song. change the level of loops by dragging these sliders here. And that's a pretty good start. Watch the video on changing sounds next maybe.